Okay, we're in the Team World Racing trailer, so come on in. This is a great experience. We got We got the racing. This is the racing experience right here. We got a TV right here. And <laughs> we got a kitchen right here, a microwave and everything. We got a shower right here. Shower, a toilet. This is this is the life, dude. This is the life. You want this life, guys. You want this. You dream this, okay? This is like the ultimate life, so. So. Yeah, this is the life of being like in the racing world, you know? Okay, we're here inside with What's up everybody? You're here with Chris Rado from World Racing. Sound Racing in the house. Okay, what do you do, Chris, dude? I drag race, road race, build show cars, and basically do any outrageous thing that can be done with cars in this culture. Okay. What is the craziest thing you ever drove? The craziest thing I ever drove was my old drag car, which was designed to kill whoever was driving it. And uh, luckily I escaped with my life and we retired that car. But 1,800 horsepower on the loose in a chassis that does not want to go straight, does not want to turn. If you want it to turn right and make it try to turn right, it's going to go left or it's going to do something crazy. It's not going to do what you want it to do. And it was basically just like fighting for my life blind while I'm driving down the track at almost 200 mile an hour. No fun. Fun for a little bit, but not after a while when you realize it's not going to end well. Okay, what, what's... Um, what, oh, crap. Um, what do you enjoy about this experience right now? Tuner culture is where it's at, man. I mean, everything from, you know, these shows, the Hot Import Nights, the Night Shift shows, the NHRA drag racing, the Time Attack, Modified Time Attack, Super Street Time Attacks, you know, drifting. This whole culture is where it's at, you know. I mean, granted, I, I participate in about 90% of the stuff. The only thing I don't do is drift. I go out there and I race everything I can race, and we have a blast doing it. So... You know, I, I can't tell you what my favorite part of it is, but just being a part of this huge and awesome culture, getting to build the machines that we get to do and come out in front of the people that come out to see us race or show or whatever, it's just awesome, man. You, you know, being somebody, being um, being a young person in this, in this day and age and not being involved with this would be a, a freaking crime, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Okay. Okay, Chris, you're a good-looking person, so do you get a lot of girls that like, come up to you a lot? Man, women hate me. I swear to God, all of them hate me. No. I uh, do I do all right, you know? I can't complain. Like, do you have, do you, do you get a lot of phone numbers and stuff? Do I get a lot, do, do you mean do I ask for a lot of phone numbers? I, I think so. Let me put it this way. I get the phone numbers I ask for. How about that? Okay, that's, that's pimp right there. Yeah, we do drag racing and road racing. Wait, is it, is it road racing hard? drag racing is hard you know you know it's funny is a lot of people don't realize how much how complicated drag racing and meticulous it is because you know about two months ago I did the modified ultimate tuner shootout where it was we take a road race car and they invited eight teams from across the country eight of the, like uh, the most prestigious tuners right and these guys had hired guns professional road racers Le Mans drivers um, you name it Le Mans uh, American Grand Am you name it. They had road racers from every discipline there. Those guys could not stage a car, do a burnout, or drag race for the life of them. You know, everybody always says that drag racers can't drive. We went out there and held our own on the road course. But when it came down to the drag drag strip, these prefer, uh, experienced professional road racers could not even stage their car. Okay. So drag racing, it's not that easy. Try and do it. Okay, that's great, Chris. Okay. Okay, I'm here with Lily Nguyen. Nguyen? Okay. So what do you know about, um, so what's your favorite car to drive? Lexus IS. <laughs> Lexus IS? So um, what do you like about the IS? Because um, it's mine and it's hot. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> okay. Um, if you had to pick a celebrity to ride with, who would it be? Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. All right. But, but he's with... Uh, with Angelina Jolie. Yeah, she's kind of hot. I don't think he's going to take me over her. <laughs> so you're thinking about like a threesome or something? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's hot. So, so, can you drive stick shift? I'm learning. You're learning? Yeah. So the, the car you have is automatic, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Do, you, do you have any crazy driving experience like lately, like in your life? No. No? So you're a safe driver? Yeah. Yeah. Sleep by. Oh, okay. 80, 80. <laughs> yeah. What's the fastest you ever driven? Uh, 110. 110? Yeah. 
That's pretty fast. <laughs> Especially for a girl. Mm. Yeah. So you, do you consider yourself like a street racer or something type of person? Never. No way. No, no way. You're <laughs> not Speed, speed, speed kills, right? Yeah. Speed kills. Yeah. yeah. Okay.